Hello and welcome to the Friday edition of Beer Bros. Today we conclude with our final bourbon. Please, can we do another week of this, please? <laughs> please? Maybe later in the spring. Please? So for our last bourbon, we have, coming I believe from Kentucky, C.B. Jackson. Okay. And this one was first created by the grandfather of uh, one of our local liquor superstores, Specs, by Josiah Newton Jackson. A little bit more of that in there. But it's okay. sober. December. Tell me more about this Newton Jackson, or tell me more about this uh, bourbon. It's Kentucky uh, bourbon, which is... Created the Barton Distillery in 1874, and then... Turned into the Barton 1792 Distillery and has 51 individual structures over several hundred acres, including 29 massive storage rickhouses. I think this is where they filmed that movie, The Kingsman. Is so, that the one with Sam Jackson? No, the one that followed. The second one? Yeah. Kingsman 2. Right. They made a second one? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Give it a look. Yeah. This mine's got something floating in it. <laughs> well, maybe somebody should have washed the glasses. They're washed? Yeah. Once again, nice legs. This is one you would expect from almost pure alcohol. Yeah, it's a... Uh... Nice, uh, comparing this to our... It's about the same color as Monday. Yeah. Which means it's a little bit darker than, Tuesday, than Wednesday. And this is... Once again, 90 proof. Which is pretty standard for a bourbon. Yeah. These are both 90 proof, Wednesday and Friday. Let's go ahead and give it a smell. It's interesting. As a beer person, I'm accustomed to beer having different scents, but... Whiskey or bourbon. It's going to smell pretty similar because of the standards yeah. of... Yeah. How, however, there is a difference in Mondays from Wednesdays from Friday, so there is more differentiation than I would expect. Hmm. But then again, I've got a beer bias. Beer bias, yeah. Definitely beer bias. I have a whiskey bias. I like this sweet. I should start my own show. Can I be your co-host? You can. Woohoo! I'll pay you the same amount of that as I get paid. I went double. Okay. That's great because anything times zero equals zero. So let's go ahead and give it a taste. Clinky drinky. Oops. Ooh. Clinky drinky. Move your hands. <sighs> hmm. Definitely sweeter. The spiciness is coming in about mid. Yeah. Mid and way down. And it stays a little bit longer than the other two. So that spiciness comes mm -hmm. and then it stays. Definitely know you're drinking whiskey. Bourbon. I had, the beginning was a little sweet, and then the spiciness takes over. Ooh, okay. That kind of tastes like tastes like a good time on it Friday does. night. I'm noticing yeah. that my lips are still tingling from the spiciness. Yeah, I feel like I could sit around. I mean, I feel like I'd just be sitting outside next to a fire, passing that bottle around. Maybe Kid Rock's there. Mm. Maybe Yellow Wolf's there. Okay. Yeah. Maybe, I don't know. David Banner shows up. David Banner? David Bruce Banner? No, no, the rapper. Oh, okay. Not the guy. <laughs> Not Ethan Hawke. So then, of these three bourbons, the Wild Turkey, the 1835, and the C.B. Jackson, which was your favorite bourbon of the week? Hmm, they were all pretty good. Um, Which one did I pick last time? I think you picked the Wild Turkey. Oh, okay. Wild Turkey. He's the winner. Oh, no. what a surprise. Yeah. Um, reason because, so Wild Turkey obviously is a very popular brand, but it's popular for a reason. Consistency, right amount of sweet, right amount of spice, not overpowering. You can drink this all night, have a good time. And it's higher alcohol than the other two, but you couldn't tell. It actually was a little bit more mellow than the other two. Okay. So then with that, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And if you're watching on YouTube, Ring the bell and make sure that you get all the notifications for our uploads. 
If you're watching on Facebook, be sure to share all of our uploads with your friends so that they can learn about bourbon as well. Yeah, bourbons and then... Beer. Beer. Yeah, mostly beers. And then maybe one day Cadillacs with the elbows poking out. Okay. So until next week, your bro's out. <laughs>